This afternoon's graduate speaker is Dr. Jeremy Mayle. Today he graduated with his PhD in music composition. This month, Dr. Mayle won the 2015 Philip Neal Memorial Prize in Music. The prize was founded in 1943 and is awarded annually for an original composition by a current or past student of a New Zealand university. Dr. Mayle received the prize for his new work, Frosted Air Suite for Flute and Electronics. Dr. Mayle is a Waikato University Sir Edmund Hillary Scholar whose composition, Symphony No. 1, was the first orchestral symphony to feature modern hip-hop turntablism as a part of the orchestral texture, and the piece has received numerous readings and performances by orchestras around New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Jeremy Mayle to give the graduate address. After nearly 5,000 days involved with Waikato University and 2,060 days spent as a PhD student, today marks the culmination of a very long journey. Fellow graduates, please join me in welcoming our esteemed guest, Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, the university faculty and our families and friends. I want to start by congratulating, congratulating you all on reaching this part of your journey, particularly to my sister and sister-in-law who are also graduating today. Uh, for a few brief thank yous to my parents, family, friends, collaborators, PhD supervisors, the music department, and the crew at the Academy of Performing Arts for all their support, and of course to my wife Courtney and my son Wolfgang for all their love. Finally, I should thank all the people who decided it would be wise to offer me the chance to make a lengthy speech filled with personal anecdotes that you are bound by tradition and good decency to sit through and politely listen. 2015 is a great time to graduate. Sure, there's less job security, and all the jobs need experience, but you can't get experience without a job, and you'll have to work forever to support your 120-year-old parents because of advances in nanotechnology that will be keeping everyone alive. <laughs> and there's potential for a robot uprising that will eventually put us all into a relentless war for our humanity. But this is an ex exciting time for innovation and technology across all disciplines. Innovation has revolutionized the way we both create and consume. This really is the future. By this time tomorrow, Marty, Doc, and Jennifer will arrive having traveled in the DeLorean from 1985, but I digress. <laughs> the motto of the university is Kote Tangata, for the people. This certainly rings true for me. When thinking about my time at Waikato University, three things to do with people came to mind. Connection, collaboration, and creativity. These three words are central to my experience at this university, and I'd like to explore these ideas a little before I go. Creativity is something that is inherent to the human condition. Even in those times of drudgery, there is always room for a creative solution. Each day, try to create something. A poem, a thought, a song, a concept, a meal, a moment with someone special. Have fun. Grow out your beard so you look like a wizard when you graduate. <laughs> Enjoy your time. One day your time will run out, but while you are here, try and create something every day that matters. University is a great place for developing lasting relationships, but it is all too easy in academia to become siloed into one's area of expertise. But for me, it is collaborative work outside of my own field that has provided me with the most growth in my technique and the most fascinating outcomes. All disciplines combine creativity with hard graft. The difference is often in the perspective. Interdisciplinary work is exciting. Art and science together, it makes for fascinating possibilities. I think a big part of what has kept me being creative is being open to connections and opportunities. Saying yes to most opportunities because you never know what could come of it. This philosophy has led me through some of the more interesting events in my life playing turntables and theremin with the Auckland Philharmonia, collaborating with neuroscientists, commentating professional wrestling, becoming a marriage celebrant. These are just a few examples from a varied and constantly growing list. Say yes, do things. Don't leave all the interesting opportunities till tomorrow. In working in the creative and performing arts, you quickly learn that things don't always go to plan. You have to endure those moments to understand what to do differently next time. If something is done with enthusiasm and purpose, no one will know it's a mistake. 
If you play a wrong note, repeat it a couple more times, then everyone will think it's on purpose. <laughs> T.S. Eliot said, only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. This echoes Sir Ed's message to the Hillary scholars. You are given every opportunity to challenge yourself. Seize this chance. Part of the journey of becoming innovative thinkers is in finding some sense of comfort in the uncomfortable. Just because you are leaving university, don't stop viewing the world with an inquisitive curiosity. Experience life, experience art, experience knowledge. What all this comes down to is to be true to yourself. You possess a one-of-a-kind combination of passions, skills, and experiences. Know what makes you you. Ultimately, that is what got me to this place. I originally enrolled at this university to do law, but after some pondering, I couldn't follow through with it, so I moved on to the path of creativity that I'm now on. Music is my main work, but I don't limit myself to this medium. I work with dancers, scientists, sculptors, authors, chefs, filmmakers, perfumers, musicians, computer programmers, poets, and museums. Connections, collaboration, and creativity are key to my life. I try to approach my work and life without fear, embracing uncertainty, and finding my way through the dark times, because no matter what, I know who I am. I may never be successful in terms of fame, money, and fast cars, but I've realized that there is an alternate definition. Success is to have family and friends who love and respect you. Success is to have a body of work you can be proud of. Success is to live your life with integrity and not give in to peer pressure to try and be something that you're not. Success is to be honest and to contribute in some way. Follow your passion and stay true to yourself. Thank you.